everybody, it's Robin here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back, watching another video with me. I really appreciate it. Um, before I get started, I want to share something that Molly got in the mail today. Her other grandma, one of her other grandmas, sent her some training undies that she ordered off of Amazon in the mail to us. And so Molly got a package in the mail today. So if you haven't, um, if you're in the process of trying to potty train a child and you can't find just nice thick training undies go on to amazon these are gerber brand and they're really really super duper soft they're made out of diaper material they are really thick all the way front to back from the middle on both sides so they are gender neutral and um, she picked her up a three pack of white Little whitey tatties for my little mommy mate. And then she got, and I have to say, I'm sorry because we've already been through a few pair, but you get two packs of the deck, two package of the decorative ones. And this happened to be pink with these little polka dots and the teal around the leg. And the second pair was solid teal with pink around the legs. And her Gwenma, which is what she calls her, her Gwenma got her two packs of these. So she has two pair like this and two pair of the solid turquoise with the pink around the legs. And they're all Gerber brand. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I don't know the price, but they were from Amazon. So if you're in the process of potty training, you need some nice, good undies to potty train your boy or girl with, you might want to check at Amazon and pick them up some of those because they are well well worth probably whatever you spend on them i'm sure they're not too much and they're really good quality um thick training undies so um i don't remember if i've said it but if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please feel free to go ahead and do so i can tell you that this is not the dollar tree haul that will be coming up tomorrow i had to make a quick trip into oklahoma today and so part of this haul is i stopped at a dollar tree um during that trip so i do have a few more halloween items in here i did pull out most of the halloween items and i did a separate video so part of this is from the weekend um and it's not Halloween items it's just things I had picked up the little bit of Halloween stuff is stuff I picked up today so let's get this haul underway and I will go through most of the food items I can find first and first of all we got these crispies oven baked rice crisps in caramel flavor Molly loves these these are just rice cakes 60 calories per serving a serving size is about eight little rice cakes um there's about five servings in this bag they have zero saturated fat zero trans fat zero cholesterol and um they're a product of the usa and they are manufactured out of ohio so if you haven't tried these i repurchased them several times really really love these so get your hands on some of those i bought molly some sunny delight in the orange strawberry um, I don't know if she likes it or not, but we're just going to give it a try. I wanted her to have a little bit of something different besides just water and milk. I picked up two of the ice in the black raspberry flavor. They had these for 50 cents a bottle, so I grabbed a couple of them. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got Molly some snack packs. No need to refrigerate chocolate vanilla pudding. And this expires in May of 2017, so a nice long shelf life. You get four of them for a dollar, and she loves these, so that's a good buy. Sorry, I'm turning around behind me to put all the kitchen items on the bar so that when I'm done, I can just grab them and put them up. I bought some Breckenridge Farms kosher sandwich slices, 17 ounce size. And I love these thin sliced long pickles for my sandwiches and hamburgers and stuff. Love them. So, I bought several more boxes of the Nestle Quick. Um, but I gave some of them to Molly Small <coughs> and to the little boys. So, um, you get six individual serving packets and they expire in... 
I just looked at this June of 2018, so a nice healthy shelf life on these as well. And then the last thing I got that was kind of edible is these Werther's Originals Caramel Apple Soft Caramels. And I don't know how many come in here. It says there's serving sizes six pieces and there's about two servings per container. So there's about a dozen pieces in each. And I have not tried these. They're soft and creamy caramels with the taste of caramel dipped apples. And if that's what they taste like, um, if not, I still love the Werther's original, so I'm sure I will love these. Last couple of things that are going in the kitchen, so I'll quit turning around, is I bought a 22 pack of the Glad sandwich zippered bags. And I bought a 20 pack. It has five small, eight medium, and seven large, the little cover-ups. And I love buying these at the Dollar Tree <coughs> because I don't feel guilty throwing them away. I hate what I do. I do wash them and let them dry out and reuse them some. But I don't like to do that very much. And so when you get 20 of them for a dollar, it, you know, what's that break down to? A nickel a piece? You can afford to throw them away. Is that right? A nickel a piece. So you can throw them away. Yep. I don't want to do my math on YouTube and then be wrong. So, um, okay. Now where to start. I picked up a couple of these little containers. Molly kept getting into the candy, so I put the candy in one. So she would quit getting into it. But, uh. These are her, when she goes to the potty, she sometimes gets a half of one of these. Don't have to worry about it right now, because right now she's only going about three, maybe four times a day. So, not too much candy for her. But it doesn't have the little, the lid just screws off and it's solid. But there are a lot of uses for these. And so, I picked up two of them. Hello, Stinky. Be careful on Mimo's couch. Don't you fall. I'll go ahead and haul this because I bought this for little Miss Molly. And it is the Lionfish, I think is what it's called. Yes, the Lionfish in the Webkins. And uh, I only saw it at one store. I thought it was very unique and different. And so I picked that up when I knew she was coming here so that she would have it to play with. I am gonna go ahead and remove this one tag off of it so that she's not tearing it up. So, here Molly, come play with this baby. Look, look at me, Mom got you. Okay. There you go. Okay, I bought my husband a three pack of these low cut size 10 to 13 men's socks. He loves the Dollar Tree socks and so do I. That's yours. Go play with it. I already showed it. Okay, come here. You can show it. Come here. Come here. Sorry, guys. All right, show them. Show them what you got. Yeah. Is that guy fishy? Say fishy. Fishy. All right, give me my kiss. All right, go watch Sophia, please. Mama. They already saw it. You go play with it. It's yours now. So I got him the three pair of the socks, and he really <laughs> likes this one with the band right in the middle. So, come on, you can sit in my lap, but you can't show your fishy no more, okay? Because it can't get in the way. You sit right here. Okay. All right. Put it down so it don't get in the way. Um, Molly fell the other day at her house in Oklahoma and busted her lip and I asked her mom where her boo-boo pad was and she was like I don't know she's a flake sometimes I hate to say that I love my daughter to pieces but she is a flake and couldn't find it so I bought a new boo-boo pad for them I have two at my house one in a boy design for the little boys and one in the girl design for the little girls so I picked her mama up a new boo-boo pad for her house okay I have, um, Ryan is making the girls costumes for Halloween, and they're going to be little fairies. So, we're going to put some sequins on their outfits. Stomp, 
now. I said, you can set up here, but don't do that. And so I already had the sequence, but I bought some liquid adhesive. And it says that this is perfect for embellishments, wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard, and trims. Easy to use applicator. Apply glue in the exact spot where it is needed. So I bought her that to try with the sequins. And then I bought her this four pack of glitter. It comes in purple, pink, two golds, and a silver. So that she can fairy up the little girls with the glitter. Okay, no, no. Got my shirt all discombobulated. Got me all discombobulated. My video. <laughs> I bought some sleep aid. This is the um, compare to Zequil, a 12 pack Assured brand. And I've seen this reviewed on a couple of people's channels. And um, they say it works very, very well. So I'm going to give it a try. I have insomnia just really bad. And most. Um, Sleep aids do not work very well for me, but that's okay. We're going to give it a try. If not, I can give it to my husband because it'll knock him on his honey. But I picked up a couple more of these. Now, I've already <coughs> bought all three of the new ones for myself. I did pick up a second. I have two that say smile and the camera, but I went ahead and gave one to Rusty, the photographer. I thought she could use that. <clears throat> if she did letters or postcards or anything like that. And then, so this one is for a friend mail. And this one is for the same little girl in a friend mail. And it says love. So I got those. I picked up two of these just because I know they're getting hard to find. And I didn't have one yet. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the second one. I'm If a friend needs it or one of the kids. Or it may go in my giveaway. I don't know, but I got a black one and a pink one. Um, if you go to the Dollar Tree swaps and friend mails, which I will link below, every month they have a swap where you sign up. Five items from the Dollar Tree has a theme. This month's or September's theme is makeup. And so I'm starting to purchase the items for that. And I purchased these nail stickers in red and gold and I picked up this chunky lip pencil by LA Colors and it is kind of a coral fun that's the color coral fun so pretty color I don't know if they'll be able to use coral but I hope so so those are two of my five items um, I picked up a two pack of these door stops because there's one door in my apartment that wants to just close on its own constantly. I cannot get it to stay open. And so I bought these to prop it open. I'm trying to see where to go to next. So I purchased this for my bestie, Melissa. She loves purple. And when I walked by and saw it, I knew I had to get it for her. And it is a little dish like this, purple, the flowers, the little rhinestones, and it's just like a little jewelry dish. And so, Melissa, if you're watching, this is yours, sweetie. I love you, and thanks for being my bestie. I want to make a couple of wreaths and everything I've... I've been trying to get into the wreaths, and I'm not really good at it yet, so they have to be very basic, very generic. I picked up this willow wreath, because I want to do my fall wreath with it. I thought it would just go along with the fall, with the branches and everything. So I picked up this to go along with my wreath. It's got the leaves on it, and the leaves are mostly what I'm going to be putting on this, but I thought... I can do it like this and make this my hanger part and then I have the bells and everything so I have those two items to go towards making a fall wreath and then I picked up this fall ribbon with the leaves which I'm mostly doing my fall wreath in leaves so I picked up this and then I also picked up this one and I picked up two and it just says, like, autumn, give thanks, gratitude, 
fall, harvest, feast, blessings, family, gratitude, splendor. Just different words like that on it. And I thought that was very pretty. But all three of these are nine feet and they are the wired ribbon. So, um, I picked up these. I picked up two of them. I had picked up one just because it's so stinking cute. And I saw it and I just grabbed it. Well, then I saw a DIY and I wished I knew who had done it. I hadn't been subscribed to her previously, so I did subscribe to her at that point, but I can't remember. But she made a stinking cute little picture frame DIY using this. And so when I went in the store today, I wanted to pick up several more, but they only had one, so I got it. Um, so I'm on the lookout for at least probably two or three more of these. And if the DIY turns out as cute as hers did, I will post a picture of it. But so that's what I got that for. Plus the fact, like I said, it's just so stinking cute. Who could pass it up? So I picked up a pack of these acorns and I actually got two. I gave Ryan one to use for the girls' fairy dresses, but I wish I had picked myself up two or three of them and I didn't, I only got one. So I'm on the lookout for at least probably two or three more packs of these and I haven't been able to find them yet. Picked up two floral foam wreath um just for make sure i have them on hand i may not need them till christmas time but when i need them i want to make sure i have them i picked up a couple more signs and this one says harvest blessings corn maze pumpkin pie apple cider hayride and thanks it has the twine hanger and the apple cider here is in glitter and then i picked up this one as well and it says harvest, give thanks, falling leaves, autumn gatherings, happy fall, y'all, and pumpkin patch. And it also has the twine hanger. What's wrong, baby? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I'd been on the lookout for these, and I finally found them. Um, it's the scarecrow picks. There's two scarecrows for a dollar. Who can beat that? And then I also went ahead and picked up the two crows. I don't know what I'm going to do with the crows, but they were there, and I thought, if I leave these, I'm going to want them and then never be able to find them, so I went ahead and grabbed them up, so if I don't use them, I'll put them up till next year. I picked up two more of these vases, and I found a super cute DIY on YouTube using these popcorn kernels. Um... She used, I believe, this ribbon to make a bow out of, and then flowers. So I picked up several flowers to use in a DIY. And I picked up red chrysanthemums, or they're kind of a burgundy color, actually. Um, a kind of a yellow mum chrysanthemum. And I picked up some Gerber daisies times two. And so those are the flowers I got to make with that DIY. And I will post pictures of that when it is done. I found the um, farm market decor. And so I picked up myself a recipe card and a um, market list. So I picked up a second um, recipe card. A second market list then I picked up the farmers market list pad with the magnet on the back and a little pocket notepad and these are for a friend mail I'm gonna send these out to someone in a friend mail so that's why I got the whole set for them but I only needed a couple of things so I just got them for myself um I saw divine design haul this um, the neon paper pad and it's 30 sheets. I think it comes in designs as well. I'd seen these before but I never picked them up and then she showed them and I want you to look at these colors. It's kind of like construction paper but not as thick. But look at those vibrant colors. Just gorgeous. So I got these. 
She uses hers in pocket letters. I don't do pocket letters, but I can definitely use these for something crafty, and so I picked those up. I got a few Halloween things, so I'm going to save those right till the very end. I'm going to show the little bit of washi that I picked up, and it's older washi. I just picked up some to have extra, and I picked up two of this design. I picked up one of this design. These were just some of my favorites, and I wanted to make sure I had some extra. Two of the black polka dots. One of the blue, like argyle, and one of the pink and brown dots. Then I found the emoji, chic and sassy nails, and the, kind of reminds me of a checkered flag. So I picked up two of each. I picked up two more of these two-pack containers. And I picked those up because I am doing, I bought a little um, chest of drawers for my makeup and stuff. And so I bought these to use to help um, organize the drawers there with all my makeup and stuff. They also work really well for these nails. And so I got those. Okay, on to the Halloween. I picked up some stickers today and... I just bought these because I haven't seen them and they were adorable. This is just mouse and eyes. And I want you to check out this one with the braces. Adorbs. I love that. So mouth and eyes. I picked up this one with um, some skeletons dressed up different ways. I thought those were cute. Then I picked up this one. These are just jack-o'-lanterns dressed up in different forms. And then the last one is this, which was cute with the googly eyes. I just couldn't pass that one up. So I picked up those stickers. I picked up these and they do not light up or anything. They're just, but these, this can be it just says decor, but you can move their mouse. And so I picked up those. I hauled a pumpkin and I said I didn't have a second one because it had gotten scratched and Ryan and Mark paid for my stuff and left it behind. So I needed a second a second one because I hate even I mean I hate odd numbers, so I wanted an even number, so I picked up a second one. So that goes with the one I hauled in my Halloween decor. I had bought this before, but Ryan swiped it. So when I went back to replace it, I went ahead and bought two. And I thought I could hang those out on my um, patio out there. I thought they were cute. And so the very last thing that I got are some of these. And I saw a way to use these to make a table runner. So I'm going to attempt to make a couple of table runners. One for Randy and one for Rusty. So I got two owls, which will be the middle of my table runner. This will be the very middle. Two owls. I got four of the red maple leaves and four of the pumpkins. So, I don't know if it'll turn out. I may need to go back and get some other stuff. I may be able to just make one will be pumpkins and one will be maple leaves. I don't know. I'll just have to lay them out and play with them. And when I make that, of course, I will take a picture of it and share it with you guys. And so, oh, wait. I guess I dropped it. I guess I got four orange maple leaves as well. So, I got four red, four orange four orange pumpkins, and two owls. And I haven't saw this, but you could get something. I don't know, a cheap, inexpensive, solid color of, of a placemat. And you could glue this on it 
and make a little bit fancier placemat for your kitchen. This one probably wouldn't be because of the way it's laid, but this would be adorable. If you could find a black placemat at Dollar Tree and then glue this on it for your placemat, that would be really, really super cute. Or even a dark green. This in the back with this on top of it glued down for a little bit of a fancier placemat. And I may, who knows, I may do that. But that was everything for my Dollar Tree haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It will give you the option of every time I post, I post a video, it will notify you. Be sure to subscribe to my um, Instagram channel. I will link that below so that you guys can see some of the DIYs that I make. Um, if I do, if I purchase some things for my daughter's in Oklahoma and I don't bring them home and haul them first, then I generally try to take pictures of them and post that on my Instagram as well. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. <coughs> Any questions, comments, things you'd like to see, things that I do that you don't like, go ahead and let me know because I want this to be enjoyable for you as well as for me. So like, comment, share, subscribe. My grandbaby's at home. Mwah. Sorry this video is a little long. But I appreciate you guys hanging to the end. And my giveaway video will be up by Saturday. So be watching for that. Thanks, guys. Bye.